so we got the paneling out, uh, the divider, and we got some of the panels off these back doors. Uh, we started working some of them off of the interior on the sides, but we had to wait till we get the seat out until we can get the rest of that out. Taking out the um, these little parts brackets. right here. So this is pretty easy, but it'll just take a few minutes. So we got all the reflectics and the bought the reflectics, bought denim. The denim. Some of that's still in my car. So they just kind of unscrew like that. Um, you need a what size is this? seven sixteenths um, one that's going to be able to work with these like star shaped bolts um, because if you have just the six sided it might not fit so well so, so you need either a seven sixteenths or an 11 millimeter um, to remove these things so once they're off just a little bit it's a lot easier to get them off you can kind of do them by hand so we're going to see if Hema has the might of course i get do some of your life. <laughs> Stop. I don't know. It's hard. <sighs> okay. Leave it to the experts. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. He's gonna get this done. Oh my god. One hand. No worries. <laughs> it's really hard to remove the back seat, the rear seat, and uh, the guy that bought the other seats from us helped us remove it, but um, we. We just weren't able to, so it's still back there. We can get the one side undone, but the other side is just stuck. It's so off, you guys! What we did was, while Hema and her uncle were um, pulling these up, I was on the other side hitting the front of these, the other side of this, right over here, with a mallet. So once it started moving a little bit, um, we lifted up on the back and it popped right out. Yeah! So, all right. Already. It really helps when you're taking all the bolts out and all the little things is to put them in Ziploc bags like this and write what they're for and even tape them to the parts that they belong to just so that everything stays organized and in place. Look at the hole and then you measure the size and then you count how many holes of the same size you have so that, that you can have a template and then you just cut however many holes or however many pieces you need like so. Have my template. I need six of these. Go ahead and cut. And now make sure you have really good scissors for this part because it's kind of hard to cut the, the reflectives. Now I have two. Now Joe's gonna show you how to put them in there. Piece of reflectives, but I only really have a tiny little hole. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is kind of fold it in half and then fold these corners over. Make like okay? a W. So yeah, make a W shape, and then start with that. Oops. And then it'll kind of self-deploy. Voila! It's um, in there. That way you're not trying to like shove the sides in, it just kind of opens back up. So, nice. makes it a lot easier. You see, if you don't cut it exactly right, um, you know, it's folded up here. So what I would do is take scissors and cut just cut the edge so that it, it lies a bit more up. flat. Mm -hmm. It'll still be a little bit wrinkled, but it's a lot better though. It makes it flatter. That way you're going to be able to fit a bit more insulation in. So yeah, once we shove the rest of the stuff in there, that'll push it fairly firmly against the wall. Nice. So. All right. So for these bottom ones, these shorter rollers work really nice um, because for the most part, they're like the perfect size in terms of height. So you just have to cut the length. Yeah, I think so these are the 24 inch and those are 48 inch. inch. Okay, so get these for the bottom. So these ones, each roll runs about $23. Those ones run about $43. Joe is shoving some reflectix in here. And all those little cracks and cranes. <laughs> okay, we'll put some denim in yeah, on top denim. of that. Hopefully that'll... But look, it's coming, it's coming out. We have the first layer all on the bottom and top. And this side too. All of the top Slowly layer surely. is reflectixed and the bottom too. So happy about our work. So when you're working late hours, because you're a workaholic and you become a unicorn. Bright lights, yeah! So 
blandito? ¿Qué significa eso? Que con una broca de metal. It's out, you guys. It's finally out. Now for the next one. Look at this badass. Very okay. headlight on this one. Alright, so we're doing insulation. We're using the denim right here. And we are going to explain a little bit about how you should use this before you put it in. Denim insulation, when it is shipped, it gets compacted. Um, so before you use it, you're supposed to open it up and kind of shake it out. Um, and that'll help to start getting it expanded again. To its natural position. To its natural yeah. position. Um, so if you are going to use it, like we didn't actually um, open ours up first. So we're gonna pack it so that it's not like really tight in there, uh, knowing that it's going to expand a little bit. Um, and it, the insulation will work better if there's a bit of, if it's a bit expanded and a bit softer than if you pack it in really dense, um, because it needs like some air bubbles, um, air pockets within it, and that only will be there if it is expanded. Um, so if you think about like really good sleeping bags are really puffy because they they fill out and have a lot of air in there. But if they compact, then they lose their insulating properties. And the same thing goes with insulation. So make sure that you expand your insulation and don't pack it super tight. Otherwise, you'll be cold. Um, and you'll waste a lot of insulation because you're gonna pack a lot more into an area that only needs a little bit. Awesome at explaining things.